Hello, everybody. Uh, I'm very glad to take part in this conference. And I will, uh, thanks to the organizers of Freak Bad, and uh, thanks to Professor Chen Jinghua, who advised me to share my opinions on my study of Buddhist Morpha theory. Uh, I'll begin my report. Uh, when, okay. when I was a graduate in the middle of 1990s, I read Professor Zucker's famous paper published in the early 1980s, uh, which discussed the eschatology of Taoism and Buddhism in medi medieval China. Not only Professor Zucker, but also Anazido, uh, Christopher Skipper, and so on. There were many scholars who studied the religions in East Asia. It seemed like that they simply compared the Buddhist and the Taoist theory of how our world would end, equaled with the eschatology of Christianity. We can read the words from their papers, such as the Great Catastrophe, Messiah, Holy War, the Last Judgment, etc. And now some scholars believe that when the Buddhist Morpha period is coming, uh, the people of this world should feel the heavy crisis of ending of the world and they must do something for the final stage of this world. I think the most important thing is we need to clearly know what the same and the difference of the so-called eschatology between the Buddhism, including Taoism, and Christianity. So I will talk about three main topics in this short uh, report. First, does Morpha theory mean our world coming to the end? The second, when and how the world would be ended in Buddhist cosmology? The third, what is the core difference between the couple of catastrophes in East Asia and the eschatology in West religion? <clears throat> Firstly, does Morpha mean our world coming to the end? No, none of the beginning, the duration, or the end of the Morpha period means the end of the world, because Morpha is referred in, particu in particular to one phase of development of Dharma after the Nirvana of Buddha. That means Morpha is only concerned about the Dharma, not the world. What would happen to our world if we got into the time of Morpha period, and uh, what would uh, happen when the Morpha period uh, time out? We need to know what is Morpha theory. There are two meanings of the concept of Morpha in Buddhist scriptures. To Indian Buddhist tradition, Morpha means a uh, now to specific a long time from the Nirvana of Buddha to uh, his Dharma end in the world at last. To Chinese Buddhist theory, Morpha means there were three phases of development of Buddhist Buddhism after Buddha's Nirvana. The first, the first phase called Zhengfa, which would last 500 or, or 1,000 years. The second phase called Xiangfa, which would last 1,000 years. And the third phase called Morfa, which would last 10,000 10, 10, years. It is the Chinese Buddhist theory of Zheng, Xiang, Mo, San, Shi, uh, which was prevalent in the whole East Asia Buddhist world. Uh, 
because only Chinese Buddhist theory uh, could offer a specific year of the beginning and the end of a monk period. According to Chinese Buddhist theory, though some monks had calculated some different results, Mofa began in the year 52 AD was the most popular viewpoint from the beginning of seven centuries. That mean, meant Mofa period would end in the year 9448 AD. No need to be serious to such a date, because this theory was based on a fiction date on the birth and the death of Sakyamuni. The only thing we need to con concern uh, is how long the world would be end after Sakyamuni's Nirvana. Indeed, there was no relationship between the date of Buddha's Nirvana and the end of the world. To the cosmology of Indian Buddhism, the world is always in a circle mode which, uh, compo which is composed by four continuous phases, a uh, formation, uh, formation kappa, uh, an existence kappa, a ruling kappa, and an emptiness kappa, cheng, zhu, huai, kong. Uh, each of these four kappas composed of 20 little kappas. And each little kappa is about 16.798 million years. Sakyamuni was the fourth Buddha in this existence kappa. Maitreya Buddha would be his uh, next successor uh, and the fifth Buddha in the same existence kappa. Then there would be 95 other Buddhas in this existence kappa. If, if the world will end after Morpha period, how could there be Maitreya and other Buddhas in this world in the future? So if we, we consider the Maitreya uh, Buddhas arriving, then we need now to worry about whether the destruction of this world would come or not after Morpha period. That's to say, there would be no catastrophe to destroy our world between Sakyamuni Buddha and Maitreya Buddha. Secondly, when and how the world would be ended in Buddhist cosmology, there are two different types of uh, uh, catastrophes in Buddhist, cos uh, Buddhist cosmology. One is the little three disaster, including the famines, the wars, and the diseases. The other is the big three disasters, including the disasters caused by the fire, the flood, and the wind. According to Indian Buddhist uh, Buddhism, only the big three disasters could lead the world to be destroyed, while the little three disasters could not lead this world to a last day. We must notice that the Morpha theory had only connected with little three disasters and regardless of the big three disasters. That is to say, after Buddha's Nirvana, the monks were turning uh, to be corrupt violating the precepts of Buddha. The teachings of Buddha were feeding in this world step by step. The Dharma was going downhill inevitably. So-called Morpha was such a period that just before the Sakyamuni's Dharma completely fade out. The faith of Buddhism and the morality of secular people are degenerating so that the, le the lifetime of people would be short shorted from the highest 80,000 years old to 100 years old, even shorted to 10 years old. It is the people's lifetime 
reducing and increasingly regularly determines a new little kappa take place of the former one, and the switch of two little kappas doesn't accompany with the destruction and the renewal of the world. That's to say, the little three disasters, the famines, the wars, the diseases, are retributions for the low moral levels of people. When the disasters occur, most of people will die, and only a few good people could survive to the next new kappa. But these disasters do not cause the change of the world. Only the big disaster, big three disasters caused by the fire, the flood, the wind could lead to the de destruction of the world. For example, when the fire disaster occurs, it will not be a common fire disaster. The whole material would uh, be burned completely. Nothing will be left, so that the flood, the wind, the big disasters leads to the extermi extermination of our world. But such big disasters occurred in the regular time mode, mode only. Uh, they never be connected with the moral levels of people. When will such big disaster occur? It will occur in the end of the one uh, existence kappa. Well, uh, which means there are still more than 11 little kappa before the end of this existence kappa. When the big disasters occur, the old beings, not only all the people, would not be hurt, hurt during such a disaster because the, the old beings had ascended to a higher heavenly palaces before these disasters are coming, and they would be very safe in the heavenly palaces when the lower heavenly palaces and the earth, the sea, even the mountain Sumeru were destroyed by the great catastrophes. When the old world vanished and a new world will reborn, the old beings stayed, stayed in the higher heavenly palaces will descend into the new earth, and a new circle of another four kappas will continue. In one word, the people and the material world were segregated to be deal with in different types of disasters, and there are no need any god or savior to save any people. This is a standard uh, cosmology theory of Indian Buddhism, but there were some revises in some Buddhist scripture co compiled by Chinese group, uh, Buddhist believers, such as Moho Mo Ye Jing, Fa Mie Jin Jing, Ban Ni Huan Ho Zhu Bi Chiu Bian Shi Jing, and so on. In these scriptures, there would be a great catastrophe, almost certainly a flood, not the fire and the wind, lead not only the life of the people, but also the material world to vanish. And there always be a savior who could save the few good people to lead and lead them to the next new world. Commonly, such saviors, including the Bodhisattva, Moonlight, and uh, Maitreya. But we know that they needn't to be present at such a stage of the end of the world and to save people in the last day. These behaviors of Moonlight and Maitreya were not mentioned in Indian Buddhism tradition. Their new tasks were only given by Chinese Buddhism. We can find that the revised version of cosmology was easier to be accepted by Chinese people. The reason may be that Chinese people had got used to be 
uh, to connect the disasters with the moral of people. Third, thirdly, how should we consider eschatology in West and Eastern religions? I think it would be better now to freely use the word eschatology to describe the viewpoint of end of the world in Taoism and Buddhism. Taoism and Buddhism absolutely had thought about the theory of the end of the world. There was no there was no the imaginations of the end of the world in Chinese culture tradition before Buddhism entered into China. Buddhism brought an important concept of time, kappa, uh, which was translated into Chinese word jie. The Chinese word jie was a verb meaning rubbing, forcing, or a nan meaning bandits in tradition in Chinese tradition. After translating kappa into jie, this word had a new meaning, catastrophe. Taoism accepted the idea about there should be some great catastrophes and little disasters in the cycle period, and they accepted the translation of jie revised the method of their yin, yang, and shu, shu calculations and figured out the specific years of a little kappa disasters and a big kappa catastrophe in one cycle. This dance description had showed an obvious link between the universal catastrophes and the moral levels of people. Taoism had finished such a theoretical work at least in the middle of the 4th century, while the Buddhist scriptures had done the same thing maybe not earlier than the middle of 5th century. As to the difference between West and East religion theories about the end of the world, we need to uh, spread uh, Buddhism into Indian Buddhism and Chinese Buddhism if we define some standards of eschatology of Christianity, such as the, the great, uh, the, the great uh, catastrophe, the uh, Messiah, Holy War, Last Judgment, and uh, the new world, we can compare them some with uh, Christianity, with Buddhism, Taoism. Uh, we can see the difference. I think we'd better now to use the word as pathology for Buddhism and Taoism. Maybe we can use Papa. Because uh, a uh, catastrophe refer to the theory of the end of the world in Taoism and Buddhism. The core difference between East and West region, religions may be the secret mode view, worldview in the East and uh, linear mode worldview in the West. That's my presentation. Thanks a lot.